Hi, I'm Anna Mills, and I'm going to show you how to fill out an argument map, how to look at the structure of an argument and um, put that into a visual form with this template. So you're going to start by going to bit.ly slash copy map template. I'll put that in the comments for the video. And when you go there, you'll get to this screen asking if you want to copy the document. You click make a copy. You probably need to be logged into a Google account, um, but you don't need to know how to use this Google Draw app. Um, you just have your copy and you can type directly into the boxes. Um, so as you can see, this map um, has spaces for a main claim, a reason for the claim, a counter argument, rebuttal, and then it has these boxes over here that I can copy and paste as many times as I need if there are additional reasons or if there are limits on the claims that are made. Um, so we're going to assume that we've already read the argument that we want to um, map out. So I'm going to give you this sample title, An Overdue Investment in Mental Health. Um, I actually asked um, ChatGPT running GPT-4 to auto-generate a very short argument um, that had the argument elements we want just to simplify this process. So what I've done before I make the map, I'm going to make notes. I'm going to read and look for those phrases that indicate what's a main claim, what's a reason, what's a counter argument. And so that's what I've done here. I've highlighted a sentence, the first one. I think that's the main claim I said over here. So let's just copy that. And we go back to our map. And I'm going to put that into the claim. Um, and I'm going to put it in quotes. Um, and I can make it bigger. Um, here, let's make it 18. Okay, then I go back to my sample argument, and the next sentence has a reason. So, um, you know, not every argument will be this straightforward, and of course you might have to pull things out from different places in other cases, but this is a pretty straightforward argument, a key factor driving this necessity so the main claim was it's high time that mental health care became a priority in higher education. And then the next sentence turns out to be a reason, a key factor driving this necessity. Those are the words that tell me it's a reason is the alarming rise in mental health issues among college students. So I can actually just, um, um, maybe the key phrase here. That's the reason is this alarming rise. I'm going to go in and put that here as a reason. Um, and if I'm just doing this as kind of a rough note. I can leave that. It's not even as a sentence. Um, so there we go. And then I'm going to go back and um, and then I'm going to find that there's actually evidence for that reason. There's a statistic here. Of course, this is chat GPT, so it might be a made up statistic, right? But um, we are just mapping out this argument to look at the structure of it, and then we can question each of those pieces, right? Um, so I'm going to need another reason here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this whole chunk, um, put a big box around it, and move it over. Um, and then I'm going to copy that sentence again. Um, maybe just take out the key part um, and put that back in the box. Um, okay, it's not letting me select the text. Sorry about that. Um, hopefully it will now. Hmm. Anyway, I think you get the idea, right? Oh, I see if I have to deselect it and then click to get the text. Um, so I'm going to just paste that text, put quotes around it. 
Um, so this is kind of there as a reason for the reason, right? So I'm looking at where do I put this box? I'm going to put it before the second reason so it can push toward it so it can support it. Um, okay. Um, and then um, I'm going to find that the next paragraph, um, I put a note that this point that providing accessible mental health care not only benefits students in crisis, but also fosters an environment that promotes overall well-being. So that's actually a different reason um, to focus on mental health care. It's not about the, the rise in, in issues. It's more about how it would help people who are not having issues, right? So what we need is space for a different reason. Um, so let's move this over for the moment. Um, so I'm just working with this moving stuff around here. Um, if I need to, I'll just grab that. Um, and I'll also grab these boxes. So what I need is another reason, and I need to put it in the right place. Um, so I'm going to copy this reason box up here. And you can, of course, play with colors and, and stuff like that if you want to have fun. But um, OK, so now you see um, I've copied this reason box, and I'm going to put in these this other reason. Um, And go. Um, and then I'm going to want to put in the, the counter argument um, in the red box. Um, but first, I want to make sure I put this reason in the right place. So really, I could put it um, next to the other reason down below as kind of a second reason. And I want it to point also toward this main claim. So here's what I'm going to do. And, and this is where there's no right or wrong way. It's just a matter of kind of moving stuff around and playing with it till it hopefully works. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like. I won't take you through the whole painstaking thing. Okay, so you can see I've put in this second reason here and I've moved these arrows so that both of these reasons are pointing to the main claim. And now I just need to look at the counter argument and the rebuttal. Um, well, I could also put in this point about the research as a support for the, um, the main claim for the second reason. Um, but let me just show you the counter argument. Um, so here it says, critics may argue that budget constraints limit universities' abilities to address these issues adequately. So that is a summary of what critics would say, counter argument. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to put it in the counter argument box in red. Um, and then I'm going to say, where does this go? Um, is the counter argument responding like to one of the reasons? Um, it doesn't really go against the idea that there's a rise in mental health issues. It's not saying that's wrong. It's not saying there isn't a benefit. It's just saying it's hard to do because we don't have the money, right? So I would say that just goes against the main claim. It's a reason why maybe it'd be hard to do. So I'm going to put it over here underneath the main claim, pointing to the main claim because it applies to the main claim. But it's in red, showing that it's you know a, a negative. Um, and then I just want to make sure that the rebuttal to that, um, which is the next sentence in the sample, um, it says, while financial concerns are valid, reallocating funds or seeking partnerships with local mental health providers can offer creative solutions. Okay, so I've labeled that over here in my comments as the counter argument. 
and I'm going to go in, I mean, as the um, rebuttal, the response to the counter argument, and I'm going to go in and put it in the rebuttal box and make that a little bigger. And then I'm going to move it over underneath the counter argument. Um, There we go. Um, so I think I just need to put in that one other piece of reasoning. Um, I can copy this box. Okay, so I made a copy of the reason box. Um, and I'm going to put in the this little bit of evidence that was given for the second reason. Um, actually, I think I have to select that again. Um, and put that in there and I just need another arrow because I want to show what that relates to which is um, I'm gonna put that right here because this this supports the second reason right it's evidence that supports that reason that the idea that um, providing mental health care benefits students um, pr promotes an overall sense of well-being um, and, you know, this is just the first step, of course, then the next part would be to, um, would be to question those things and say, is this a strong argument? Is this good evidence? Is this real evidence? Um, are there assumptions here? Um, and, and that's a, a next step, but at least we have, um, and we can get rid of this limit because I didn't find any limits in this particular sample argument. No exceptions were listed. Um, so here I have my argument map and I can change the title and say, um, okay, map of an argument on mental health care in higher ed. And there you have it. Um, so I'll put the link to this sample in the chat, in the uh, comments as well. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know and I can make a follow-up.